All right, here we are with uh, Craig Moore, coach of Coomera. Um, congratulations on the win today. Um, young fellas played really well, dominated the game, and you know finished the chances and good football playing from the back and knocking around and just every combination play everything look look really good. So happy with the first game. Yeah, like, look, I mean we've we've worked extremely hard pre-season, uh, but it's always interesting when you you know you've done the work in pre-season to see whether or not that can be matched. Uh, you know when competition starts, first home game. Um, so it's important to, to try and get off to a good start, and we were fortunate enough to, to you know, put in a solid performance tonight. Really had to to work hard in the early parts of the game. Uh, it was highly competitive, um, which I expect to be the same week in, week out. Um, and we were lucky to get a couple of goals. And in the second half, uh, you know, it's about coming out and, and being able to, to to maintain that that edge and the intensity to to go on and win the game. A lot of games can be lost for, from two nil. Um, so the message was very clear at half time and we had to go out and uh, apply ourselves in the second half and it was, look, it was really pleasing to see uh, the performance in the second half once the, the game started to stretch a bit. I thought uh, you know, we played some good football, had the opportunity to, you know, to bring on some young players as well. Um, so all in all it was a, a good night and a good result for the club. And just looking at it from a well, point of view that we were watching it, um, number six, probably for us, man of the match, that I think his name was Jacob, your player there in the back, one of the back four. Yeah. Unbelievable passing, positioning, just everything, and the confidence he had in talking to his players. Is that like one, one young kid coming up that you can see will have a good future in football here? Yeah, look, I mean, Jacob's uh, he's been given a, a, bit of, a bit of a leadership role here at the club. He's, he's worked extremely hard. Um, he's, he's the vice captain now uh, of the team, so an added responsibility. And, uh, the pleasing thing is, uh, you know, for a young fella, he's uh, he is quite strong there at the back, um, and certainly looks as if he, you know he's got a bit going for him. The important thing is for, for Jacob now, as for, for a lot of the other younger players, is, is to, to maintain a, a consistency and be able to back up week in, week out. Um, that's a challenge for a lot of these players, uh, but certainly happy with uh, like I said, so the, the result. Obviously, is a fantastic result tonight, but. My trophies are handed out at the start of the season. That's right. And how, how do you keep him level headed after um, beating grand finals of last year, Mandrabar? Obviously a different team, but still, you know, we're there in the grand final last year. You boys came up from Division One, so how do you keep him, you know, focused, keep going? Yeah, well, look, I mean, the, the message is very, very clear to the lads that uh, every, every game becomes harder. Uh, you know, the, the, I guess you, you get decent results and, and people want to knock you off. Uh, that's, that's normal. So, look, it, it comes with an added pressure. But you know what I've explained to the players is they, they should enjoy playing under that added, pr uh, added pressure. It's something that uh, they've created themselves. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's that's a challenge that we have week in week out now is to go out to, to obviously try and win football matches, uh, but be able to back back performances up uh, and, and also results. Results play a big part. Good. Well, congratulations on your win and the style of play, mate. Good on you. Good work. Cheers. Thanks. A lot, mate. Thanks. We have been to. Um, um, down on players before we went in. We, we, we sat there last week and we thought we got half a decent squad, a, a few players, a different commitment from different players, sort of let us down a bit. And then all of a sudden we realised um, it's, it's starting 11 for first grade, we're probably four players short. A couple obviously left, went to different clubs, a couple's away, a couple's on holiday, one suspended. So we've been such a small squad this year, not having a lot of uh, 18, 17, 16 year olds at, at the club. We've First grade sort of ravished a lot of pillaged a lot of players out of, out of reserves. It left reserve grades really short, reserve grade coach and manager had to play. Um, so first game of season is not ideal. I think if we could white clock back and not play as many pre-season games or do something different in pre-season, the amount of injuries that we've suffered, I wish we could do that, but unfortunately in hindsight, it's a, it's a great thing. Um, but coming here today, I'll just, sorry, yep. coming here today, obviously we knew you know, we, we worked on different things, we, we worked on different scenarios, different situations. We've not seen Coomer play, but we, we realise what type of team they are. They're very fast, they play quite direct. It's not our style to defend against the direct ball, you know, such as Knights have always done well against us. Um, we, we like to play a bit of football, we like to play it nice and slow from, from back, playing it to feet, and we can get caught out like that, which we did on first goal, I think. And then all of a sudden we were just looked a bit rocky. We've not got a lot of confidence in ourselves at many. Um, and, and from my point of view, maybe maybe I expect a little bit too much to wear. Uh, as you said, this, we were sat here this, this uh, exact same place last year. Um, but we've got a far better squad this year than that last year, both reserves and first grade. So if we can achieve half of what we achieved last year, I'd still be happy.
It's a long way. It's a long way to go. Happy with um, obviously one mistake, but uh, Tim in goals saved you probably about three or four goals in that second half. He after that one mistake, some keepers go down, but he pulled pulled it out and probably about four or five goals easy that he saved in that second half. Yeah, Tim's fantastic. Tim's fantastic. As I say, a massive improvement from last year. I think everything that we do, we're going in the right direction. It's just getting these players to gel and play together. As a coach's job, it's always hard. Um, I thought we'd actually got it pre-season, and then, as I said, we got hit pretty hard by, by injuries, suspensions, and you know, a couple of players leaving. So it's a case of really turning up today with a brand new team. So I wish, once again, we could white clock back and actually play this team in this first pre-season game. And by now, first game of the season, you know, we have five, six games under his belt, just like Coomer, playing together, and we can improve. Um, I don't know where Coomer will go from here. I think that's as good as they're going to play. So next round and round after it, I'd like to see that. Uh, we're just with um, Keith Garland, coach of Surface. Um, congratulations on, um, obviously, first of all, come up to the Premier League from last year. Um, and good performance today. What, what, what's, your, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I thought it was a good performance by us. Obviously, uh, it wasn't a game for the purists. Um, I didn't think we played so great football at the time, but the effort was incredible. And uh, we never stopped trying from the first minute to the last minute, which is tremendous. So it's good. Uh, it was good to see that um, you kept pushing and pushing. When you got that second goal, your, your um, comments from the side was keep pushing up, don't, don't hold back. So is that, is that the attitude or the mentality of yeah, your team? Yeah, you know, we're not a team that want us to sit back. Uh, you know, we're playing against a very good side today and we mastered them in effort, we mastered them in commitments and uh, you know, to get a point here, first game, is a great point for us. Fantastic. Yeah, good performance against last year's um, grand finalists and obviously grand final winners. Um, what's your predictions for this year for your team? Where, where would you like to see yourselves at the end of the year? Oh, we can just consolidate and work hard every game. Uh, there's no reason why we can't make this off for, you know, we've got players to come in and uh, I'm, I'm quite hopeful for the future. Congratulations, mate, and thank you for taking time out. Cheers, buddy. You. Good on you, mate. Thanks. Just here with Lee Vernon um, from coach of Broadbeach, uh, two all, um, not a bad result considering he's both went down both times, um, boy showed character, always the same from Broadbeach, but what do you take out of that game mate? Yeah, fair play to surfers, they um, played a horrible brand of football with uh, long ball and pressing, but we didn't expect anything else. Um, it's a bit of a shame because the pitch is lovely and we thought it would have been an uh, exciting game of football. We were disappointed with our performance, but fair play to them, they got the result. But, weren't overly uh, impressed with some of the actics that were going on out there. Players diving and going down and, and cramp and this, that and the other. It was a little bit disappointing. And to be honest, I thought the ref needed to uh, rule with a bit more of an iron fist. He, he let plenty go. We thought we had a, a penalty disallowed. And uh, and uh, it seemed like every time we gave a free kick away, or they gave a free kick away, they had a player rolling around with cramp and the ball was 50 metres down the, down the park. But we don't normally like getting on the referee's back, but it seems nothing's really changed in the off-season. So we'll move on. We'll uh, go from there. Um, and obviously uh, a few uh, substitutions that got forced onto you, uh, Robbo yeah. and then Evans. Uh, Robbo all good there or what's the go with Robbo there? Yeah, there's a couple of uh, couple of injuries there which is never good in round one but um, we've got a few players to come back for round two and we've got a lot to improve on. It wasn't a, a great performance by us and um, yeah, we showed character to come from two goals back but we've got to work on a lot but we've got a good squad this year and uh, it's only round one so we'll be back next week. And your two boys in defence, Luke and um, Negzi, fitting pretty well just like, like they've been here before. Yeah, yeah, there's a few a few communication sort of problems that we've still got to iron out, but as I say, it's round one and we get to play everyone three times, so, uh, yeah, look, if, if games like that, you've got to score first, otherwise you are against a park pass, and look, we did it last year when we were injured, uh, injuries, so, uh, look, teams have got their own tactics and we've just got to adjust and move on. All right, cheers for taking cheers. time out, mate, thanks. Thanks. Oscar Lagani, Oscar, first of all, welcome back to the Premier League, four, right. four years out. Yes, yes. Much change since you've been away? Um, not really, I think uh, competition is a bit uh, more competitive, you know, I watch a few games uh, and they, you know, they look, the rest of the team looks, looks good and fit. And Happy with today's performance? Yes, uh, first, first win of, uh, it's a good, good start and uh, we, we're in the process of building up and uh, yes, that's a good start for us. Yeah. Led through in at half time. Yeah. Didn't really capitalise in the second half. Uh, something to work on. Yes, we do. Yeah, it normally happened three 0 You knew that probably the game was there, and uh, sometimes it's hard to get on to players' mind. But yeah, something's going to work. That you know, 
Do you, have to be played the same, do you same think same Burley's season. problems throughout the year had a bit of a disruption on you, no, not uh, knowing maybe? Yeah, it probably was, yeah, because we didn't know who to play in the first round, but uh, lucky they back and I think they're going to be competitive as soon as they get fit and, and get together. So. Next week, big one? Yeah, we'll on by next week and uh, yeah, looking forward for that. So first trip away. All right, so have a look, thank you very much. Good luck, well done today and good luck for the okay. rest of the year. So, well thank done. you, Oscar. Thank you. All right, thanks. We're joined by coach of Burley Heads, Danny Neal. Danny, um, First of all, welcome back to the Premier League. Difficult circumstances, I suppose. Yeah, very difficult. Uh, preparation wasn't the best, to be honest. And today was probably expected a little bit. Second half, I thought we did quite well. I was going to say, you were 3-0 down early. Very encouraging signs, the fact that you held them to nil all in the second half. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I thought, um, I thought we pushed on the second half. I thought they looked a bit like the side that was a bit underdone. So I said to the lads, I was quite happy with the second half performance. It, it did look, to, from an outsider's point of view, a little bit fragmented. You could see that you weren't together, so a lot of positives to work on. Oh, yeah, it looked and felt very disjointed. There's a lot of players there that don't even play in their positions. Uh, but I've got a few lads coming down now, so hopefully we're strengthening and going from there. Matty Hilton back next week would be a big bonus. Yeah, Matt will be back next week, yeah. And he is good. The big derby, Brody, big yeah, test yeah, for you. he will be. Oh. I think every game right now is going to be a big test for us. So. Oh, look, considering the season you had, it's great to have Burley back. So all we can say is, first of all, well done on coming back in and, and good luck for the rest of the year. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Cheers, Matt. Uh, Dano, thank you, buddy. Thanks,